Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to get the current score from the score manager using verse code and a verse creative device. And I have to tell you that I have struggled with this and I thought something was wrong with the score manager and I realized nothing is wrong with the score manager. There's something wrong with me. And so it was very humbling. And so I'm here to show you what I learned and I hope to save you some frustration and aggravation. So anyway, we're gonna go into island templates here and we're going into a blank project and I'll go create. It is tricky. I mean, there is tricky. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I can see why people are confused and think something's wrong with the, the program, but it's not. It's just understanding the nuances of it. Okay, so to get started with this, we're going to create a Verse device. I've tried to keep this as simple as possible. And that's what's crazy about this. When you see the code, you're going to be like, it's so simple, but yet it's so complicated at the same time. It's really weird. So, anyway, go to the verse device. We're going to left click, right click, add new verse. We're going to call this score underscore device and go create. And I already have the code written, so I'm just going to go into Notepad and get this. Control A, Control C. We'll go back into here. Click in here. There's our code. We're going to Control A and delete all that and Control V. I have this called Score Tracker Device, but I'm just going to change it to Score Device so it matches. I'm going to do my best to explain this so as I understand it. Okay, so we've got a trigger device that we're using and we're making it at editable so we can set that in the editor. Then we're also getting a score manager device. This is all pretty straightforward, I think. Then we have on begin play. And here's what we're gonna do. Like if we click, hit control, and let's just go and look at the score manager for a second. There's all these different methods that we have access to. This is where I was getting tripped up between activate and increment, and I'll show you that toward the end. But here's what we were wanting. Here's what I was wanting. Because for my game, I was trying to do some things that the devices can't do themselves. I was wanting to send a winning message and a losing message. The winning message setting was easy because it was just going to be based on total score. But sending the losing message was more complicated because I needed to have max triggers and a score value. I needed to get this current score value in order to do that. So that's what this all is about. And it just turned into a huge rabbit hole. So this requires an agent parameter. And then this also returns an integer, which is the value of the current score. So it's a basically it's a return call method or function. You call it with the agent, a valid agent, and then it's going to spit back an integer value to you, which should be the current score. And I think this is where people are getting really tripped up on all this. And then there's also some weirdness going on that you have to understand with the activate. And I'll explain that in just a second here. So let's just go back now into the code. Oops, back into the code here, sorry. So we've got our two devices, a trigger device. And what's gonna happen is every time I walk over the trigger device, it's gonna give me 10 points. That's all it's gonna do. So here, this is the calling the score manager, our score manager that we're creating up here. And it's saying set the score award to 10 points. In other words, every time I go across the trigger, give me 10 points. That could be 5 points, 20 points, however many points you want. We could also set that within the device and we wouldn't need to call it here, but we're just calling it from Armour's code. Here, this is just creating a triggered event using the subscribe and it's calling the update score function that we have down here. And to use a triggered event, it requires that the function that you're calling accept an agent parameter. So here is the part that I think gets everybody tripped up on, and I know it tripped me up. And the best way that I describe this as this little question mark creates an optional of agent type. So it's an optional agent type is what it is. And we're assigning it to agent that's the name so what it's doing is it's basically creating a container and we are going to put whatever's in that container we're going to give it the name agent 
over here, and this is what I think question mark on the other side then is a query, and it's basically saying go get what's ever inside that container called agent and put it in a new under a new name called valid agent. So essentially we're unpacking the optional and giving it a new container and a new name called valid agent. So we're taking it out of that container and putting it in almost into a new container. This valid agent then is of the agent type. This score manager requires the agent that I showed you over here. So if we go back here, you'll see it's requiring an agent as one of its parameters. The get score requires an agent type. So this fulfills that requirement. And it's saying basically activate is send us the score. So every time that this is called by the trigger, it's going to send the 10 points. That's what the activate's doing. And we'll compare this to increment toward the end. And then here is the function call right here. So here we're using our score manager device that we created up here. And then we're calling the method get current score and it requires a valid agent, which we've created up here. And then it's going to return the score. That method is going to return an integer that we're going to store as the value score. And then we're just going to print out a string here, a custom string that says the current score is score. And that's all there is to it. Now, I know this doesn't look that complicated, but it, and it really isn't. It's just getting around the quirkiness of it all and understanding what's going on. It's, it's not like, I, I don't know, it's, it's its own beast in its own way. So anyway, but it's frustrating because if you don't know what's going on, you, you'll feel stuck and then you'll start thinking something's wrong with the program when there's nothing really wrong with the program. So anyway, that then we'll go back in here and we're going to go to verse, build verse code. We don't get any errors. We're going to drag our verse device into the scene. Then we're going to go and get a search here and get a trigger. Bring that into the scene and then we'll get the score manager right here. And then click on the verse device and then we'll pair our trigger to the verse device and our score manager to the verse device. And if we click on here, you'll see it's where it says score value. That's the value that's displayed here. That's the one we're going to be setting to 10. So it almost doesn't matter what this says, but so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch the session and then I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and let's see if this works. So we'll go start. And so what should happen is when I go over that trigger, it should give me 10 points and you should see it print in the upper left corner. Current scores 10, current scores 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, etc. So you can see that it's working just fine. Now I want to show you something that was tripping me up a little bit here. What is our score manager? Oh yeah, I don't have it set to visible in the game. Okay, so here's something that was tripping me up and then that'll be it for today. If I come into the verse code, I want to show you something. If we change this from activate to increment, because I thought you could use increment and we'll go ahead and just build that verse code. So we'll build the verse code. Oops, build the verse code in the game. Let me push those changes. That goes really quickly. And if we come in here and we hit start game, watch what happens. Start game. I thought increment would be enough to change the score, but watch what happens. Current score is zero. Current score is zero. Current score is zero. See, now you might be going, what's going on? Good question. What is going on? So if we come into here and we click on our score manager, we come down here where it says increment, increment, activate without sending score, incrementing the device, but not awarding anything. 
so it's keeping track of the score on the device but it's not it's not doing anything it's not showing anything look at activate send score to the activating player so to take full advantage of this with inverse you need to use the activate not the increment that's what i learned the hard way so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care have a great day and we'll talk again later